on the 5th of December 2022, Sister Ndo Jane from South Africa was here and there's a prophetic message that was given to her in which the man of God asked her to bring her husband. Let's see on the screen what happened on that day. My name is Jane Ndo. I come from South Africa. I came with a problem of back pain and I have spondylosis. The doctor advised me to do x-ray. This is the medical report he gave to me. On the screens of the television is this medical report from the medical facility of Dr. Faso Mokandam. This is in South Africa, Lodum, which belongs to Lady Jendo. Here the doctor is writing about her illness that she has got pain in the lower back with muscle spasms. And in this other medical report, he goes ahead to give us a medical history of that this lady has suffered with lower back pain and the pain is radiating to the left hip, to the left thigh, to the groin, all following a history of a motor vehicle accident a year ago. And he requested that this lady should go for an x-ray to be done on her lumbar spine. And this is a medical report from Kampala Imaging Center where Sister Ndojen went following referral by Dr. Fozo Mohadan from South Africa. Because of this lower back pain, they did an examination of the lumbar sacral spine. And when they did this, she was diagnosed with prolapsed intervertebral discs between L3 L4 together with muscle spasms and this was confirmed by Dr. Igamatovo, the senior consultant radiologist. So that is Lady Jane. She has so much pain in the back for which she wears this lumbar corset for support. And for one year she cannot bend, she can't lift heavy objects, she has difficulty in walking. <coughs> Watch brethren. My Jesus. Watch what is happening. <coughs> The devil in her cannot stand the presence of the Holy Ghost bring, fire. Bring her, bring her. I will beat you. Whatever the cause of her sickness has got to bow down what? today. What fight? I will beat you. See the manifestation of these evil spirits in her. What fight? I will beat you. I will beat you. The devil is fighting. I hate you. I hate you. You hate who? You. Why? Why are you helping people? Because Jesus sent me this lady alone to help. She's my property. Your property? Yes. What have you done to her life? This one. She's suffering. Mm -hmm. Yes. What have you done to her? I use her husband. Hmm? I use her husband to make her suffer. And I enjoy it. Mm. Yes. Why do you enjoy people yeah. suffering? No, I enjoy it. And she's crying. Her <laughs> husband is gambling with her money. Oh, how not? No food in the house. And yes. you are happy? Uh, yes. Oh. He eat all the money of bench. Okay, what have you done yes. to marriage? Which marriage? Do you call marriage this? No marriage. What have you done to our children? Uh, we children. <laughs> From the feet to the head, you go. I approach you in Jesus' holy name. Clap for Jesus, the winner man. The devil is defeated. Thank you, Jesus, for this victory. Watch Sister Jane now rising up. She's rising up, brethren, to her freedom. Jesus Christ has set her free. She has moved the lumbar corset. Thank you, Jesus, for this miracle. She's having a Thank smile. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here. Thank you, Jesus. Clap, clap, clap for Jesus. Why are you crying? Oh. I ask you, to, you. to receive your healing. Because even the husband was not believing that she's going to be here. She's a mother. And as a child of God, I know that God is in Kakande. Where the husband? It's in South Africa. My name is Jendo. I came from South Africa. My, the lady beside me is my sister, my friend. The problem brought me, it was a problem of back pain. 
after my deliverance, I feel fine. My body is light. It's like I can jump there. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So your Jesus. sister said your husband was not believing. Why? My husband is another type of difficult person. Things started going wrong. You started getting anger. Yes. What you said is true, man of God. My problem is the anger. But you didn't have anger. You started getting anger. You started going, <laughs> accusing the man this or that. You. I said, hey. Yeah. But you too, you say, hey. Eh. What have I said to my husband? The husband just look at you and say, Madam, can't you have your peace? Man of God, what you are saying is true. When I'm angry, I used to beat him. To beat who? My husband. I want to see him. Okay. Can you bring him? Yeah, yes. we will bring him, but he is he's very, very, very stubborn. He said you don't want to see any pastor. He is coming. Men of God, thank you, thank you. Men of God, I want to confirm what you have said. That the husband to my sister, she, he is very stubborn, but a humble man. I believe that He's he will come. Man. He is very much good and okay, I let me send him transport to come. <laughs> mm. Okay, okay, rise up, rise up. This is one thousand. Let him come. Woo! Jesus. Oh, Jesus. But don't beat him again. <laughs> I will never beat him. And he's taller like you, but I beat him. <laughs> so do you know what will happen to you if you they are beating him? No. That dream you dreamt of the leg will come to pass. Do you want it? It's true. In the dream, it's where I got attacked. So can you stop? With my left leg. Can you stop, please? Never, never try. Please. If I want Jesus to forgive me, I will never beat him. Eight months later, Lady Ndo from South Africa brought her husband to the church as per the instruction by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Let us listen to them. Good morning, church. Good morning. My name is Jane Ndo. I came from South Africa. I came here last year, December, with a problem of big pain. So, man of God prayed for me, and he gave me prophecy. After that, he said he want to see my husband. So, my husband is here. This is my husband. Sir, you're welcome. <laughs> my name is Nkanezene Alfred Ndo, and this is my lovely wife. Mm -hmm. uh, you see? You see? The prophecy that you gave her on the, on the, on the board, mm -hmm. it is true. You can look at her, then you look at me, that, hey, sometimes it was difficult. And, um, and I, couldn't, I didn't understand what was going on. If she gets angry, then the plates are flying. When they arrived home and I welcomed them home and then... I could hear that they were conversing between themselves as to tell him, tell him, tell him. But I didn't know what was going on. Then uh, later on they said, the pastor wants to see you, Prophet Gakande, uh, in Uganda. I left them in the room, it was about in the evening, and I went to sleep on my bed. Then uh, she came with the money that you just gave her, and she told, she told me, the prophet wants to see you. By that time, I was furious. I want to be honest. I went on Google, I got your, your email address. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to say was, man of God, I appreciate your invitation, but I'm not coming due to certain reasons. <laughs> then, uh, as I was about to write that message, I don't know what dist distracted me. I, even now, I don't know what happened. I just left it. But at some stage, I said, no, man. This word that said, if he's a man of God, indeed it will happen. There came a dream. You were wearing a colorless t 
T-shirt. And I remember, I didn't even know your face by that time, because I haven't looked at your picture at all. And then you came, you stood in front of me, you looked at me, you said, when are you coming? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> and I said, I said, we are coming. Then you passed. Then I woke up. And then I said, eh, no, let, uh, let's make a plan, let's go. If this is God, I will find myself fighting against him, and that is not possible. Uh, when I came in, I felt this kind of peace coming to me as a demon. Why did I have such kind of negative sentiment about the place? So, man of God, I'm here by the grace of God. Yo, God. The deliverance prayer for Mr. Alfred Ndao from South Africa. Okay. Huh? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But of God has touched him, behold, in the floor he goes. <laughs> what is it, sir? Ah, it's unbelievable. How is it? I don't know. You said you're not coming. <laughs> hey. Eh? I don't know. Oh. How is it? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. Eh? Uh, 